All right, hey guys. So I got back from Fanimation last night. I had a pretty good day. I think it was probably one of the better trips so far that I've been to. Had a lot of new people, so that was great. Um, but yeah, I got eight of these uh, Louver Louvered fixtures on my way home. These were, oh, I don't know, an hour north of Fanimation, so they were. They weren't completely on my way, but it was only maybe half hour out of my way, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, these came out of like an old uh, country store. It had been turned into like a uh, little resale shop. It didn't seem like there was anything cool as far as fans go, but they had these lights for sale. So I stopped in there, got eight of them. They have really cool tubes, but unfortunately they're crappy. They're all... Um, 34 watt so there's like eight um econo watts so ge and then two um no there's two econo watts and those are westinghouse and the rest are uh watt misers from what i remember this one on the right i believe is like the equivalent of a shop no wait where's the shop light one? Oh, shop light one's over there so these are basically just main lighters but the the dumb ones so, haven't gotten to testing them, so we're gonna do that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and test all these. I'm trying to, I'm just waiting for one to stop working. One of them's not gonna work. So, yeah, you could probably tell they're definitely dimmer than like a standard uh, 40 watt. So, that kind of sucks, but. They're cool tubes. I don't think I'll ever have a use for them, but I'll probably hang on to them. I have a whole crate of uh, 40 watt tubes I could use. So these I actually am probably going to put in my grandpa's garage. Could have got enough of them. They're in good shape. So uh, yeah, let's get to testing the rest of them and I'll be back. Alright, so here's number two. It has a replacement advanced ballast lovely so I'm guessing these weren't really used all that often because well they have the original tubes for one I'm guessing they're original they all look like they have about the same amount of use there's not actually from what I can tell none of them look toast so there's number one or there's number one, there's number two. So I'm guessing this one probably works. Yep. That's not the right start though, is it? Okay, yeah, now it is. Alright. Get to number three. Alright, so here's number three. They're just kind of going down the line. These are another fixtures I got. Got those pretty, quite a while ago with those. And these I got uh, a month ago, maybe. So this has the want miser with the. So this one has basically like a shop light. But it's a want miser. Like all the others. And this is the cool. Cool with the red edge, so those are old. I actually have one of those, but the nice ones. So, uh, yeah, I didn't even wire this up. All right, cool. I guess I'll do that. that would probably, probably makes sense. Oh, this one has a replacement bass too. So it looks like they were maintained throughout their life. I mean, they all look like they're in clean condition. And this one's got, you know, a couple of scuffs on it. But I guess that's to be expected from pictures that are this old. You know, these are not rusty. These, are, I think, will clean up. They have little, little blemishes here and there. Mm. 
a weird start up on that one. Yeah, see, that's more like it. So for now, I'm probably just going to leave the advanced ballast and um, bulbs. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to change. I'd probably leave them if they uh, weren't 34 watt, but they just suck. I, I was thinking because they're older, maybe they'd be better. Maybe they wouldn't actually be 34 watt. Maybe they'd be labeled as such, but actually be 40 watt because I, I feel like I've seen that before. Oh, 25 watt shop like did that. They weren't at, they were, I don't know. I remember how they did that, but they, they were as bright as a 40 watt bulb. So let's get the number, number four. And I'll be back with that. This one's the one that has the kind of watts. Nice. All right, so number four. This one's got another replacement belt, but it's a GE. Um, so what, I think number one had the original bell, so I don't know. I guess I'll run it until it dies, which I'm sure won't be too long. So you can see that. We've got a little, little bit of bellish residue. I know one of these had a lot. I don't remember which one, though. Yeah, I forgot to wear it up again. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if they just had like kind of, and they just bulk bulk once they started dying. I don't even know how many of these they had total. I thought in the ad they only had. I thought they had ten, but I guess they had eight. Maybe I was looking at it wrong. Ooh, what was that? Like a little. Oh, I wonder if these are like toast. <laughs> or just die. Oh, no. was on no well, you saw it so I'm guessing it works I don't see why it would have died even if it did I don't think it would light up at all so let's go to number five and I'll be right back all right so we got number five this one actually had one of the original bales too I think that was an advanced maybe I don't know Give her a good test. Really didn't doesn't seem like a rapid start. Some of these are powering up really quick. Oh, I figured out with number four. Oh, number four got put back there, but uh, one of the balls just wasn't making good contact. So yeah, that's what they look like when they're powered. They're supposed to be brighter, but this one obviously isn't. Yeah, these are really cool. I like these. So off to number six. Mm, that one might be toast. We'll see though. They're, they definitely, if that one is toast, they definitely, uh, I don't know. Te technical word is banned, but I don't know. Some of them, you know, I like to call them charring because they're all black at the end. But uh, this one definitely looks good. More, more like a preheat. It's not even like your typical rapid start. Rapid start will this died on rapid start, but I got to work on preheat. This is usually what they look like when they die in rapid start. Yeah, so that one's still going strong. So let's go to number six. And yeah, cool lights. So there's number six, there's number five. Where's there it is. Yeah, that one still works. I oh wait, I didn't even check the ballast on this one. Yep. 
Here's the original Advanced Balance. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, this one's got a little bend to it. Some of them need, need a little tweaking, but they're not bad. Yeah. I need to find something like this for my grudge. I don't really care for the, you know, very basic lights. I mean, they don't look bad out here, but something cooler would be nice. Hmm, number seven. I'm guessing this one works too. This one has another replacement advanced ballast. Hey, look at that. This one has the uh, main main letter equivalent of uh, Watt Misers. I don't know what the other bob is, but yeah, you can see it down there. God, these are horrible in warm weather. I can only imagine what they're like when it's cold. Alright, so we got one more. Hopefully that one will work. If so, then we have all these working. That'll be pretty cool. Alright, so last but not least, we got this one. Has another replacement advanced. Has um cool lot measure bulbs. But not so cool because, you know, there's a 34 watt ones. Hey, look at that. Alright, so we got all eight work. I think, what, two of them were original, the rest were replacements. Not surprised, because I guess advanced bales suck. <laughs> um, as far as, you know, life goes. Other than that, you know, they're still good ballasts, but they're not bad. So, yeah, I've got eight of these. Don't know if I'm going to install all eight or if I'm going to do six. Um, kind of trying to do two per, I don't know, bay, I guess. I mean, it's a, it's a two and a half car garage, but it's got one full door and one half door. So, I don't know. The way the, way the garage is done is they have uh, the concrete cut because if it was just one full slab, it would crack. So they put cuts in it so it would crack along that so it looks more finished. So I'm going to try lining it up with that because there's six total um, panels, if you will. So shouldn't be too hard to line all that up. So, uh, yeah. I guess, uh, what would that be, number six? Lost uh, one of the grates, so I'll have to jam that back in. But other than that, they're cool. They're good to go. Pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little test. Anyways, thanks for watching.